So in my last video, I had this guy, Goliath, sitting next to me, and uh, if you're not familiar with him, he is the first action figure in the new Gargoyles line by NECA. I love this action figure. Um, I've been collecting action figures for a good little while now, and I definitely had a couple of action figures in the Gargoyles line from way back in the day during the original run alongside the TV show, but uh, this is my first in quite some time. It helps that Goliath was one of my favorite characters in the TV show. Uh, maybe not my favorite character, but that's a story for another time. So when I saw the announcement for this action figure, I was super excited from the beginning. Um, I think we had to wait about a year or so after they announced it, and it's been even more and more time since then, and they've only released a couple of figures. We were all super excited for the possibilities of who could be next, uh, and they did finally announce a couple of other figures, and a few of them have released since. For the second figure, I didn't even consider the possibility of who they chose. Now he's been out for a little while, but uh, I finally went out to the store and picked him up, so uh, I have Thalog. If you aren't familiar with Thalog uh, from the show, he is actually sort of a clone of Goliath, and there's a lot of reasons why they may have chosen him for that. Toy companies are famous, or maybe some people will say infamous, for reusing parts for toys over and over again. So you can imagine, since they already had a really great mold for Goliath, well, wouldn't it be easy if they just chose a character that they could reuse the majority of those pieces for? And there we have it. That's how we got Thalog as the second toy in the NECA line. Uh, I do believe since then they've also released Bronx uh, and maybe Demona and Hudson. I get mixed reports that they've either been released or they're ready for pre-order. People find them in the stores all the time. I've not been so lucky. We've also seen previews for a few other characters. I believe that they had a preview for Brooklyn with a lot of press pictures and everything. And then at some toy fair, I know I've seen pictures of... Uh, a few other ones. I won't spoil anything because I haven't seen any real press issue from them. So before I get into opening this action figure, I do want to take a brief second to talk about something from the new Dynamite comic books. So if you haven't read it and you don't want the spoiler, here's your spoiler warning. I'll give you a second. I'll have a little pop up with a uh, timestamp to jump to. So if you're still watching, this isn't much of a spoiler, but uh, Thalog is actually probably going to be the first villain that we encounter in the comic book. Uh, so he appeared very, very briefly in the first issue, and he's actually on the cover for issue two. So if you don't know this character, I would definitely recommend either checking out the figure or going watch those couple episodes before we hit issue number two. So like I said, is I got the Thalog figure uh, and I wanted to do an unboxing. Um, this was kind of a spur of the moment thing for me. I'm just really interested in making this content right now and whatnot. But uh, so I went to the store and uh, couldn't find it at a few different places, but Best Buy had it. But the box was smashed up and whatnot. I looked at the box and I think he's okay. If he's going to be broken, I'm going to be really upset. But that's beside the point. But yeah, let's go ahead. We're going to head over to my table over here. And we are going to open this up and take a look. Uh, here we go. Let's take a look at Gargoyles. They log ultimate action figure. There is the front cover uh, box art. Like I said, this is uh, made by NECA. They've got a really good wraparound here. Lots of uh, different art. Uh, most of these images you can find online. Press images and that kind of stuff as well. There he is again. Uh, if you like hanging on to the boxes, these are really cool because of all the art. I probably will not hang on to mine uh, just because it's all smashed up. I also did not keep my Goliath box. 
These also do have a Velcro on window. One more really great piece of art. And you can kind of see in uh, and start to see the figure uh, and some of the accessories and whatnot in there as well. All right, so I am gonna go ahead and see if we can get this guy open. Box cutter is probably way too sharp for something like a tiny piece of tape like that. All right, so let's go ahead and get this guy out of here and start taking a look. All right, uh, another really cool thing, the backdrop. I don't know, sometimes people can repurpose those into dioramas and whatnot. Uh, once again, not something I plan on keeping, but it's there for you. And here we go. It is a double layer insert because his wings are in this lower uh, layer. We'll get to that in just a minute. There we go. Let's see if that was it. Is that it? Oh, he's finally free. There he is right there. Let's get all of this out of our way. Awesome. And there we have it. Uh, standing up, they are just crazy tall, but uh, you usually will pose them leaning a little, especially just in the way that they're supposed to be postured. But I mean, you can look at this and just, I don't know, I really, really love the detail. The coloring is uh, on point here. Uh, a lot. Uh, more attention to detail in the paint and stuff than on Goliath. Goliath is great, uh, but that is, he's just kind of one big sim same color. All right, before we start checking this out, his wings. Now, if you are not aware, the wings are hard plastic. There are no flexibility to them at all. Uh, that's something that uh, a lot of people complained about with Goliath. Uh, so you know what they did with Goliath? They came out with a set of folded wings and they put them in the box with Bronx. So I don't know if Thalog will get the same treatment, but uh, let's go ahead and take a look back here. He does have some small insert points that you can just like that. And they're jointed so that they can go in a couple of different directions. You can have this guy stand up something like this. And uh, it's, it's actually really uh, hard to pose these guys uh, because of their head and the angle at which it sits. And he can't really push his head down too much because one, his hair is so long, and two, the wings are blocking a lot of it. So a lot of the posing that I do for my Goliath is I will have him uh, standing above something else, which once again is not unrealistic because Gargoyle's up on the top of a building or something like that. But there you go. All right, there he is, the tail has a uh, place to insert right in here. And the tail, unlike the wings, is very flexible. Let me see if I can get this lined up just correct so that we can get that on there. Good. And then once again, the tail is very straight at the moment, but it will flex and bend so that you can uh, kind of use that as a, uh, something to position him on so that he can uh, stand up a little bit easier. I'll get him really good and posed in just a few minutes. Uh, so that way we can spoil around with that. Uh, he did come with a couple of extra hands. The ones that he has you know, straight out of the box are open-handed, kind of like that. And then he also has two fists, one for each hand. And then one that is in a holding position because he also comes with this little weapon here. Uh, the weapon has a removable little cartridge. And I assume that there is some way that you can attach this 
uh, per, oh, that's because I have it backwards. Here we go. You can attach it here to this end, so that way it's like that. And then you put this little missile projectile way over here, put it in there, so that way you have where he fired that projectile and it launched all the way over there. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. And then I showed you all the briefcase really briefly a moment ago. Uh, it opens up and it has all the cash and keys in it. Uh, that is a nod back to the first episode that he was in. Uh, but yeah, so there we have it. That's everything inside the box. Uh, let me real quick before I move on, uh, do some comparison because uh, it's possible maybe you have Goliath already. But here's my Goliath right here. All right, so the two of them, they are about the same height. Um, very, very similar here. I, I wouldn't doubt it if I was on the money saying that they were probably mostly the same molds. Their face is very different. Uh, Goliath, though, one difference there is he came with a second head. He's got kind of the angry one that we see here. And then he has this more stoic one like this. Whereas they log definitely new face mold here, uh, red eyes and everything, different paint job, but kind of the evil smile. Even this one, he's, he's kind of frowning in and then that one he is like kind of roaring. So there's that. Um, I imagine that the weapon and that kind of stuff came from uh, maybe a little bit of feedback about the accessories that Goliath came with. maybe came from some feedback that Goliath came with because he did have his accessories. He had the hands, the two open hands that he's using currently. He had a fist for each hand. Whoop, there we go. And then he also had a, a little bit of a grasping hand and his two accessories, he had a book. This is not the Grimor Grimorum um, because, uh, that's just not something that Goliath ever really messed with. But uh, he was an avid reader. He was always in the library. I don't know if any 90s kids remember all the uh, book promotional stuff that like Scholastic or whoever would always put up for him. And his last accessory uh, is a uh, jalapeno. Uh, jalapeno. Uh, if you know, you know. Uh, that's all I've got to say about it. So there we go, a little bit more Gargoyles content to tide you over until we get to January for issue two, uh, where we will be seeing our friend Thalog again. I've never really done an unboxing before. This is not something I necessarily plan on doing a lot, but I had it, it felt right in the moment and whatnot, so there we go. Thalog is sitting here sneaking up on Goliath. Uh, he's probably not gonna stay there hanging on my boom mic over there, but he is uh, definitely gonna join my collection. I'll try to post something daily on YouTube just to keep interactions up, hopefully grow a little bit of a community here. Uh, let me know if uh, there's any other good Gargoyles content going around that I should be watching, uh, or if there's anything else that you guys would like me to do. Thanks for watching.